The unnamed celebrity alleged to have been involved in extramarital affairs could be revealed as early as tomorrow after the Court of Appeal lifted the injunction on publishing his name. Yes, the person at the centre of the controversy has until 10 o'clock this morning to submit an appeal. Joining us now, lawyer Mark Stevens, who specialises in cases dealing with issues of privacy, and of course we will not mention any identities. We certainly won't. We don't <coughs> want air. to go to jail. No, well, <laughs> just, just remind people what the consequences, what an injunction does, what the you know, the extension of this injunction does. What are the consequences if we were to blurt out any names? It, on pain of imprisonment or uh, an unlimited amount of fine, uh, you will uh, potentially enforce this order. So the judge says, you may not do this, and if you do do it, uh, then you can go to jail for it. So it's a pretty serious offence. And indeed, uh, the lawyers for the unnamed celebrity couple uh, are writing to people, people who've tweeted, uh, also social media companies, as well as other bloggers and things, and uh, threatening them with just that, jail. Goodness me. So yesterday, um, there was a legal judgment that this would be lifted, but... Not yet. That's right. I mean, the Court of Appeal looked at this case again yesterday and said, look, there's been two intervening sets of circumstances since we said this privacy law sh or this privacy injunction should take place. The first is that the source spoke to two newspapers, spoke to The Sun on Sunday and another one in America. And so that was before uh, the privacy injunction was granted. And so the information genie was out of the bottle. Mm. So the information could be published lawfully in America and was. That led to millions of people knowing, and of course that's the home of social media, and it came across the Is this the death of the celebrity injunction, in the sense that the global internet media world now simply doesn't allow a conventional injunction to hold water because word gets out too far, too fast. I, I think that this is being put about by claimant lawyers because they're trying to frighten the judges. The reality is that if you happen to be someone with a domestic brand, a domestic... Uh, uh, you know, someone like a daytime TV presenter, then in those circumstances you will have a uh, privacy injunction, your privacy will be protected in this country. If, however, you are a global brand, an actor, actress, director, sports personality, someone of that kind, then in those circumstances you will have to deal with the law as it differs across the world. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to get an injunction here, but you'll also have to get one in America where you're also known. And it's much harder in America to yes. get an injunction because of their First Amendment rights. To free uh, speech. Yeah, it's a, it's a much, much easier place for these kind of stories to be published. It, it is, but there's two things about America. One is that, uh, as, as you all know, Piers, from having lived there, they don't like the salacious detail that we have with our cornflakes. Uh, the other thing is that um, in America uh, there are huge uh, damage awards. So if there is, so for example, Hulk Hogan mm. just won $155 million for an invasion of his privacy. Uh, I mean, that's probably more than he's made in his lifetime. So, you <laughs> You know, uh, there is a real chilling effect for people who do overstep the mark in America. Good to me. Right, Mark, thanks very much indeed. We'll find out what happens at 10 o'clock this morning.